Arterial sclerosis, which is a fancy word for what? Clogged up arteries. And bottom line is phlebitis, arterial sclerosis, clogged arteries, and strokes are all the same disease. Basically, if you sit on your butt long enough, you get enough stress to contract your ventricles and veins so they're half the size they should, and you eat animal foods and lots of coconut oil, saturated fats, you're basically going to get clogged up arteries. And if you get clogged up arteries, it's a good, good chance you're going to have one of those diseases I just mentioned. Uh, it's really a shock to me that we have a heart disease association in this country and all over the world. What we should be doing is, is taking those organizations, disassembling them, taking that money and using it to teach people not to sit on their butt and eat crappy food. Because, by the way, if they stop sitting on their butt and eating that food, I promise you well over 90% of so-called cardiovascular disease would not occur. Because it's not a disease. It's a choice you make. Either you get up and you have fun and you run around and you eat properly and you like and respect yourself, or you sit down depressed, do nothing, and end up with a stroke and heart attack, and then all of us have to pay for it because you've been irresponsible. And so the time is, is now. The time is now. We've got to stop blaming other people for our disorders. Now we get to what I joked about earlier, inflammatory disease. Uh, just this weekend I was out on the west coast of Florida and uh, giving a PowerPoint to our demonstration that actually shows how we get so-called inflammatory disease. It's actually a breakdown of the myelin of the, the, the covering of cells. When they are permeated because you've been eating bad and negative or smoking cigarettes or living in a major city with pollution, all of the things that we do to break down our cells, we actually have them start to decompose. When they decompose, they're rotting literally. It creates a particular form of catabolic ash in the body. And that particular ash goes into the system and starts to create inflammatory conditions. It would first be irritation. You may see the irritation uh, on the skin if you have very fair skin. And then the next step, quite simply, is that you're going to see it become inflammatory. All at once, the pharmaceutical industry realized that they did an excellent job telling everyone they need cholesterol drugs because cholesterol was a cause of all heart attacks, strokes, and phlebitis, etc. That wasn't good enough for them. So now they've started a whole new show and told people that uh, cardiovascular disease is really an inflammatory disease. Now they didn't tell you to stop taking cholesterol drugs. They told you you also need, besides cholesterol drugs, which most of them are made out of the same ingredients that rat poisoning is. It's an anticoagulant, and that's how rats die from it. They thin their blood to the point where they can't live anymore. Uh, they, you're just a big rat, so they just thin it partially. You don't quite die. And they now tell you that you have to take an anti-inflammatory drugs. Now, bottom line is, if I use some common sense in this, most of you listening will understand this. The intellectuals may have a hard time with it. Now, if I took your arm and I put a plastic bag around it and wrapped it really, really tight, and we said, you keep that on for 24 hours, and you came to the group listening here today, and we all looked at your arm, would it be inflamed? And the answer is yes. Now, when you have the breakdown of the cells that cause inflammatory conditions, and cells make up ventricles, arteries, don't they? Of course. Then you cover them with something like a plastic bag, but in this case, it's plaque. It's what you've eaten in cheeseburgers and God knows what else. Of course, you're going to have an inflammatory condition. But they're now trying to accuse inflammation as being the cause for cardiovascular disease. It is a symptomology of cardiovascular problems. It is not the cause sole cause of it. It is a combination of things, but mostly out of control people with bad lifestyles. And that's really the, the punchline. That was a big question, my God, who did that come from? Oh, see that? Dr. Shmohokalahaka from the University of Brunk. Now we go on.